Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome to another live game commentary. Today we're continuing our try hard episode series thingy where we want to actually get a bit of elo in this account because right now we're like, we're plat 525 LP and we're barely above 500 as far as our win loss goes. Like 16 wins and 15 losses or 14 losses or something like that. So we're not, we're not particularly good as far as that ratio goes. So we want to bust it up a bit. So uh, last game I picked Lee Sin, who obviously is one of my best champions, and uh, this game I'm picking Hecarim, who is also one of my uh, a champion I enjoy playing. Hecarim is a champion who, on my main account, is kind of like my one-trick champion. I had a really good win rate on him until I just started sucking overall, and now I suck on him. But, you know, I'm still better on him than I am on most other champions. So today we're playing as Hecarim. Uh, Runes Mastery, boys and girls. AD Raids, uh, sorry, AD Raids and AD Quints, I think, is like a really simple, chill page through to go. And then either Armor Yellows or Health Level Yellows and whatever blues you want to run. For your masteries, uh, go for 12 0 18 with Courage of the Colossus. So Hecarim is a champion who, one of the reasons I like him so much is because he's really, uh, I feel like he's quite, he's really easy to play, but he's also quite versatile. He's got a pretty good, he's pretty good at most stages of the game, you can put it that way. Now he fills out a lot of roles as well, like he's a pretty good ganker, but he's also a pretty good skirmisher. He's also a very good jungle farmer if you want to do that. Uh, he, he transitioned quite well. Like because he, he's a good ganker, he's good in the early game, but he's also pretty good in the late game because he's just a really good team fighter. So he does a lot of things pretty well. So uh, there's no real pressure when you're playing as Hecarim. So you don't you can just like chill out and do whatever you want to do. Uh, so if you're just looking for someone who's like really good overall, like an all round champion, but it's someone that is mostly like he's like a he's like a kind of tanky bruiser. I would I would define him as more of a tank than a bruiser. But considering you go Triforce on him. I think he fills the uh, bruiser role quite well as well. This bitch really going to take my red buff just like that? Alright, we can do this though. Syndra's actually ghosting in, so... Missed the stun. Nothing. Unlucky. Alright, I thought we could, make, we could probably do that honestly, but... A bit, uh... Gung ho on the old stun there, unfortunately. Couldn't hit that one. Uh, also, this is something which is quite something you've got to bear in mind as well. If you're playing, uh, like in in these situations and these scenarios. Hello, Shad. Shad's waking up from his nap down there. You can see him just walking around. If he gets too tip tappy, I'll put him in the other room. Well, nice, Shad. Well, nice, I will. But whenever you're getting invaded, or even whenever you're doing the invading, you've got to look at the lanes and. Uh, for example, in that situation, my Darius was just shitting on this gangplank in the 1v1, which is a, a bit surprising, honestly, and especially early on, because, you know, you just run away from, from Darius and you can farm with your Q. But still, because this gangplank was, like, on zero health, um, regard regardless of, like, talking about whether or not oh, that shouldn't happen, it doesn't matter. Regardless, that gangplank is really low, Darius is a lot stronger, so gangplank can't help me. So if Serana collapses on me there, I don't get any help whatsoever. I got a little bit from Syndra, but she couldn't really help me because she was just, you know, she was too far away. So I ended up not getting any help there, really. And But from Shivana's perspective, that makes it quite a smart invade, right? Shivana wants to invade in those situations because she knows she can invade and win the 1v1. And that's what Shivana does. Like, Shivana is a 1v1 champion. Good shit. Can't stop that, can you, Shivana? All right, let's push this in here. There we go. Do I need to put you in the other room, Shad Will? Is that what I need to do? Is that what I need to do, Shad? This isn't tap dancing lessons, Shad. This isn't tap dancing, Shad Will. Let's just keep farming up. God damn it, Shad. I'll do it, Shad. I'll put you in another room. I'll do it, Shad Will. Don't do it. I'll do it. But this is something that I need to be, be careful of as well, guys, here, too, is that I need to make sure that Shivana doesn't just go for the dragon. Shivana's very good at taking away dragon, and this is a fire dragon as well, which is, like, the best of dragon, so... The best dragon to take, the worst one to lose, so let's keep good vision on drag, please guys. Shiv can rush really easily. So we want to make sure we've always got vision on that, always got a ward down or something like that. Shivana can take it very fast, very easily, but at this stage of the game, early on at least, she won't be able to do it for free. Like, she'll, she'll still have to... Um, you, you know, like, she'll still take a lot of damage when doing it, so if we show up, we'll be able to stop her out. I'm just going to recall by, uh, by my Swifties here, but then I'm, I'm just going to quickly nip out and put Shad in the other room, because he, he's, he's practicing his tap dancing here, and, whoops, it's a little bit distracting, so I'm going to go ahead and just put 
them in the other room here. So uh, I'll move towards the blue side. But let me quickly put them out. Can we shut up? All right, good stuff. So my blue house respawning, that's what I'm looking forward, uh, looking looking towards to do here, but until that point, I need to find some, some oh wow, she's level six. Goodbye, she's dead. All right, so the Shivana now is gonna try and do something with this kill. What's she gonna do? She's either gonna invade my blue buff or she's gonna go for a dragon, most likely. She won't just go for her red buff. It'll be a bit of a waste for her to do that. She's killed the mid laner. She's got some pressure from, from here. What's she gonna go and do? She is actually going for her, her red here, interesting. I would have preferred her to, to make more of an aggressive play here. Like I was saying in the beginning, like when I died to her, like at level 2 or whatever it was. Oh, level 3 I think. Was it level 3 actually? Yeah, it was. Uh, essentially, she she was able to make that play and it was a good play from her because she had the pressure from the lanes. Gangplank wasn't able to collapse. Basically, she met, she knew because she could uh, invade me and she wouldn't be under pressure from, from my laners. So why not just invade me again there? You're not going to be under pressure from the laners because you just killed my mid laner. So he's, she's not going to be able to stop me. I'll stop her, I guess, in that case. This is a good kill here, I think. Just use your ass, Syndra. Good girl. Syndra is a, is a very high skill cap champion, as you can tell. Right, she's going to go for the skull crap here. I don't think she'll go for a dragon. I'm going to ward it. I don't think she'll go for it, but I'm just going to ward it anyway. Okay, I might actually be able to get in on this Draven. It depends if Shivana's here or not. I don't think she's she is here though. I think she's going for Scott Crab, so I don't think she's actually going to be here. Ooh, that's a really bad GP ult right here. That's a terrible GP ult. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, you got away with it though. <laughs> I wonder if we can go for Dragon here. Can we go for Dragon? Ah, oh, Cinder recalled. Why Cinder recall again? God damn it. Alright, can I get in on this? I don't think so. Oh, that was good. Play under the tower there. Oh, nice hook, nice hook. Alright, that was... All in all, that was okay, I think. All in all, that was okay. Yeah, it would have been really nice, though, if Syndra was, had stayed there. Probably could have gone for the dragon. Not 100% sure, but maybe. But I'm just going to go for this honey fruit and maybe jump in here. Get them, boys. Nice. All right. Spicy. We got it in the end. We got there in the end. Whew. Okay, that was actually really close. I've got two sex in my smite here, so I kind of want to go and spend that. Whew. We got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. I'm going to get this and then recall here. We're going to build into our Triforce. It's the first time you want to go for on on Ekadim. You're going to rush the Triforce, so... Gonna recall and get the components for that. So that would be like you can go for phage first, like I built the longsword, because I think the components for for phage are better than the components for Sheen. Like having a longsword is better than having a, 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 a sapphire crystal. Hmm. Now the real risk of roaming top to make a play like that is the threat of the enemy team getting dragon here. Because if 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 Shivana wants to take this dragon, she can do that a lot easier now because we don't have someone to roam from mid to stop stop them. Okay, good. So as long as we know they're not doing it, it's fine. But we do have to be careful, because if our mid laner does leave mid and, and disappears, we won't be able to stop them. Well, actually, maybe we can do it here, actually. We should we should try and go for this here, I think, in my opinion. Okay, Shiva uh, mm. If Syndra's not here, this is a bit more risky now, though. We need to spam ping the Cinder to come here though. Because I know Lux is here as well. Makes it a bit risky. But this is really, if we can take this, it'll be really good for us. We definitely want to take this if we can. Ugh. Fine. Uh, I don't like this at all. We should just focus on the dragon. There's absolutely no reason for us to fight here, in my opinion. Dragon, 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 boys. Dragon, 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 dragon. <sighs> We're so lucky we got that. <laughs> I didn't even smite it. 
Yeah, we played this pretty bad. <laughs> we got really greedy for kills here. Really greedy for kills here. Why do you just press R on her, Syndra? Hmm, interesting. Oh well. Yeah, don't run that way, don't run that way, don't run that way, don't run that way. Alright, we got it in the end, somehow. This is a crazy, crazy game. I wasn't happy about that. I wasn't happy about that. I was not happy about that at all. So, that was a classic case of just getting really greedy for kills. We saw that the enemy team was in a, like, you know, basically we just wanted to kill the enemy team. There's no, there's no real way to analyze it. We just saw the enemy team there and we're like, yo, can we kill them? And so we fought them. We didn't need to fight them at all there. There was no real reason to fight them. We, the objective is, is by far the better thing for us to take there, but we were just like, no, let's get the kills. So we, what we should have done was just prioritize the, uh, the dragon there rather than, than the, uh, the kills. But we got it. In the end, we got it. Um, like, like I said, the execution was terrible there because, I, like, I shouldn't have got that. She came in, she had two levels on me, level 9 to level 7. So that's like an extra 100 damage on the smite, which is a pretty big deal in the early game. Like, later on, if you're, like, level... 15 to 17 it's not so much of a big deal because there's so much like damage coming through that an extra 100 doesn't mean too much but in the early game when people don't really have that much damage having an extra 100 is like a pretty big difference in my opinion a pretty big deal so like i shouldn't have been able to get that smite on syndra uh, on to, against shivana sorry so she should have been able to take that she missed it honestly she just missed it like i didn't i didn't secure it she just missed it she smited early and left it on like one auto for me but the only reason why it was that close is because we, you know, we were chasing kills so much that she wrote... The reason why we did it in the first place is because she was topside, right? That was the reason why we saw the opportunity to go for it. If the enemy jungle was topside, then we can try and take the dragon. But, yeah, she went she went topside and she rotated all the way from top all the way down to bottom. I think she even recalled and ran here. And uh, that's how long we were fucking about with, like, fighting and stuff. So I'm going to sneak in here just in case my team wants to end up making a play or something. They do something a bit too aggressive here. Get themselves into some trouble. This Shivana is incredibly strong right here. One of the reasons why Shivana is a strong jungler because she farms really hard and, and gets herself really far ahead. That's a good, uh, well-positioned ward from them though. It was, that was a pretty good positioning. Oh, are you sure you want to do that, Gangplank? I don't know about this one. Looks like it's getting away with it though. Nice. I can probably go for this Lux here, actually. If she stays, I could... Okay. <laughs> I might. Do I want to go bot instead? Okay, I didn't actually think these guys were going to die here. <laughs> I was looking bot and they were just, like, fine. <laughs> they were absolutely fine. Uh, I'm a bit surprised that we died there, but whatever. There's also a dive coming down here, too. I can't stop that. Can I maybe dive mid instead? How did that even happen, man? We were free under the tower, boys. How did you die? Oh shit, there's Shivana. She doesn't know I'm here yet, though. Nice. I'm going to keep going here. I've got red buff. She's got no mana either. Good shit. Don't know where Draven is. Is he here? Nope, I'm good. Excellent. Good shit, good shit, good shit. That was well played. This red buff was r really handy for me here. Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm just going to get out of here. I'm just going to run away. <laughs> Please don't kill me, Draven. I'm going to I'm gonna recoil in a really weird spot here. Hoping that if Dra Draven's going to use a, his ult, he'd fire it like on the tower or something. I don't think he'd fire it here. I think I should be safe from the Draven ult. Let's go get my Triforce here now. And uh, we'll go for Red Smite as well. There we go. We're actually pretty fed at this point in the game. I, I tend to think like if you've got Triforce at around 15, 16, 17 minutes, that's good. If you've got it around 20 minutes, that's pretty. Bu you're pretty behind. Uh, so the fact that I've got Triforce and my Red Smite... At, 15 minutes, I'm pretty happy with that, and of course tier 2 boots, so I'm, I'm pretty fed this game, which is good. I haven't farmed that much, but I feel like I've done, I've made quite a lot of pressure plays, which is uh, really good. It's always a bit hard to play against Shivana, because she is, she always gets pretty ahead as far as her farm goes, like like this game. She has a crap ton of farm, 
and that's always a bit difficult to, to handle. Because, I mean, you saw even in the level 2, she just invades me and she, she cheeses me really easily, because she's pretty strong. Are we not going to defend this at all? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bait a flank here. Yeah, that's good. So I couldn't actually defend that. If these guys knew that I was by myself, <laughs> they could just turn on me and kill me there. But because they see me charging in from the side, their immediate reaction is more like, holy shit, we're being charged in by the Hecarim, let's run away. When instead, I was b I was bluffing. I was completely bluffing that. I didn't have anything there whatsoever. Better race than death. Yes, that's, that's exactly what it was. This is caps. Did not mean to have caps or sock on there, but that's fine. I'm just going to chill here. I don't really want Shivana to know that I'm still in this bush, but of course he's going to attack from inside the bush, so that's fine. They can... <laughs> God damn it. Damn it, Thresh. I was trying to be sneaky. Let's get this dragon. Let's get this, let's get this warden bugger off. I don't really care about this ocean dragon. It doesn't really help us at all here. If this, like, we've got the Fire Dragon, which is more important. Ocean Dragon doesn't really do too much, especially... I think in the really early game, Ocean Dragon is really important. Like, for the lane phase, it can be really good. But at this stage of the game, I'm not really... I don't really find it anything impressive. We'll see. Maybe we can do something around here. Maybe get the, uh... Get the Ocean, or just, like, fight them at the Dragon. Because I think we can definitely do that. Shivana is strong, but outside of that, they don't really have too much going for them. Holy shit, that guy is strong. It's three for three and he was that strong. Still, that's good. Uh, my smite is up again as well because I had two stacks, even though I used it to fight Draven, so that's fine. Again, though, Shivana gets in here. This is going to be a little bit hard to secure. This, guy, this Thresh needs to flay this guy or something. Nice. Or that. That's perfect. Good job, boys. Good job. That was really well played. We, we played that one a lot better than we played the, the Fire Dragon fight. Having said that, we also had the pick this time around rather than the last time, which was more of just like an oppor opportunistic attempt. So that was good. I don't think we can keep pushing here, though. I'm not convinced. I think this is a decent call, actually. I think this is a, this is a moderately decent call. I think this is a good transition here. Because we're all around as well, right? So we can just fight them here if it comes to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus him, focus him, focus him. Focus Shivana, 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 Shivana. Okay, that's not great. Mm, I need to heal up here. Nice, Shivana's dead. Yeah, that was a shame. <laughs> that's an XD. <laughs> I need to farm because I need to heal up. Um, if I'm on zero health, I can't fight him. Yeah, the, the, the problem, the actual problem with that fight is that Darius walked up to Jinx and eat her. Which is really bad. I mean, that, that should never really happen. Nice. Should better kill this guy now. Oh, nice. Good shit. So the, the key to playing against Darius guys is to stand inside him. I know this sounds really peculiar because you'd think you'd think you want to be as far away from him as possible, but no, you have to stand inside Darius because else he just like if he catches you on the outside ring of that Q, he heals himself. The only way you're gonna be able to beat him is if you get away from that hill. This is a really tough game to decide what item I want to go for here. I'm just gonna go for Sterex, I think. Like at this stage of the game, like, there's no no real one resist I need to, to like, itemize against. Because Shivana is mostly magic damage. But also, like, quite hybrid, but mostly magic damage, I would say. Darius is obviously mostly physical. But then you've also got the Ignite and the, the Red Smite, which is all true damage. So that's health. Um, Lux is magic damage, but Draven is physical. So it's like, if anything, I guess armor is more important than MR. But it's still, like, MR is still a big thing I need to itemize against. So... It's kind of tough. Like either I want to go for dead man's or I want to go for randomins. I would say, but I could also go for like GA is a good option here. The reason why I'm I'm looking towards itemizing, potentially itemizing towards a Sterex here, is because Sterex 
works really well with your, your Triforce. It gives you like, a, like extra power on your Triforce because it gives you, Sterix increases your base AD and that's what Sheen works off of. Sheen doesn't actually work off of your overall AD, it's just your base AD. Ah, almost got the charge in on that. I didn't want to use my ulti there because I thought that was a bit too hard. A bit too, too hard an initiation because I was by myself. I thought maybe I could just like jump in and try something. That was a good, that was a good combo by Lux. Oh, okay. Yeah, we played this one pretty bad. Needs to be really careful here. This is this is gonna be a really hard game for Jinx though. What Jinx needs to do is just like kite. And, uh, she's she, if she can't kite, she's gonna die. So it's really important that she does that. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go in here. No, I don't flame that way. God damn it. Nice hook. Right, let's see if she can reset off this. Don't! Oh my goodness, no. Oh gosh. Alright, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna peg it here, boys. I'm just gonna peg it. Really, Jenna? Really, Jenna? You gonna do this to me, girl? I've got Swifties. I got Swifties, and I got. Yeah, Swifties and Triforce. I think I'm out of this. Stun. Oh my goodness, no. Oh my goodness, no. Wait, does she? She has an ult. Just ult him. Please, just ult him. Okay. It's not often I see the mech- ah! <sighs> God damn it, just a tip. I was gonna say, it's not often I see the mechanics of Syndra get the better of someone, but <laughs> it's happening in this game. She doesn't have any mechanics. Uh, so do I go for Dead Man's Plate here, Randwins, or I, like, Sterex I think is a good hybrid item to go for. I could go for Sterex, I could go for... I don't really think I need another another damage item. If if I were going to do that, I'd probably go for Titanic Hydra. I don't really think I need that. I could go Dead Man's though. Dead Man's is pretty good. I might just go Dead Man's here. Maybe Dead Man's instead of Sterex. Uh, we'll try Dead Man's. Whoops, not double. We'll go Dead Man's. We'll see how, how that goes. I mean... Randwins is good against Draven as well, but I guess I could have got maybe Randwins would have been better here because the attack speed slow for Shivano is also pretty significant. Maybe maybe Randwins would have been a better choice. I don't think you can go wrong with going Deadman's on Hecarim, by the way, because it gives you that crazy uh, move speed. It's fine. Don't really care about Dra Cloud Dragon. Shivana has her ulti up as well, so she needs to be a little bit passive here. She's really tanky as well. Beautiful Shivana. Uh, do we want to team fight this? I could try. I mean, I could, I could definitely initiate here, but do I want to do that? I've got a feeling if I do that, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> that's that's my gut feeling. If we if we have a an a, a, a Syndra who's got like three hundred ping as well, maybe that's not a good idea. Ah, she's back. She's on blue buff. Oh, this is a greedy, greedy flash forward, but she might get away with it. Nope, oh, she's dead. Good hook. Kind of. Oh no, my E just ran out. I'm weird. I'm real. Am I dead here? I think I'm alive here. I've got a potion ticking as well. Yeah, this Jinx is getting really good. Her positioning is, is I don't know man, it's greedy stuff. 
Diamond Flash to aggro. Really risky. Like that, those flashes, man. That's not good. <laughs> that really doesn't work. That really doesn't work for us. I had her as well. Like, I, I had that lux 100%. She was dead. It makes it even worse. We have flashing forward on AD carry to secure a kill. I mean, honestly, as far as it goes, hello? On Jinx, it's like not too bad because you can just get the reset and jump back out again. But it's still not something you want to do. It's still it's still too risky, I, th I feel like. But it's it's better to do it on Jinx than someone else, I would say, as far as it goes. As far as it goes, it's a, it's a better strategy for Jinx. Anyone who you've got a reset on. You can go really aggressive on as long as you get the kill, but oh, that was just that was just too risky. Nice Syndra, you got your Syndra mechanics back, boys. Good shit. All right, I might just go for a uh, J next though. J will allow me to pick a team fight and just jump in and not worry about dying. It also gives me good hybrid resists. Why is Jinx doing chickens here? Please don't do chickens. Unless you need to heal up or some shit. Oh god, where's the ult? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Darius. Rather generous of you. I really need to survive this. If I die here, we might lose Baron. I'm, I'm fine. Good shit. We won't lose Baron here, I don't think. Probably won't go for it. They're actually recalling here as well. We have insanely tight vision here. I don't know what this is about. Look at these wards, man. That's crazy. Yeah, we're good here. Uh, I'll, I'll go for the I'll go for the the GA next. I don't think I even want to go for the MR here though, do I? I'm just gonna go for another chamber. Oh, they went for it. Oh, bloody hell. I was not expecting that. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That was... I get. Mm, I guess I maybe could have expected that. Siobhan does it crazy fast, so I guess to that extent, it's not too surprising. Right, I got my Red Smite down here. Red Smite is really good if you're playing against people like Darius. It makes it so much easier to kill them. Like, without Red Smite, it's like the, the concept of killing them is really tricky. <laughs> The prospect of it is it's quite bleak, but if you have red smite, it's a lot easier to do it. You can go blue smite, by the way, on Hecarim. I didn't mention that, but you can do it. I actually only tend to see less experienced Hecarims do it. Um, but if you're, I mean, if you just if you prefer to play Hecarim like that, go for it. But I would I would say that red smite is you can't go wrong with red smite. It allows you to jump in as well and, and be fine. Yeah, I think we probably could have... I, I do think we could have defended that Baron if we had Jinx there. I had to recall, but I think we could have defended Baron. But at the same time, I don't necessarily blame Jinx for that. Because I don't really, she wasn't really aware that that was going on. So it's not exactly her fault, I suppose. Oh, this on the other hand. No, redemption. No, Janna! Okay, good, I got him. Beast team. No, you got caught, Jinx. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't take damage. There it is. A new pinnacle. <sighs> Mate, my team is so salty. They're really salty with each other. This Jinx is a classic AD carry main. Just like, is acting like a real diva, a real princess here. The Cinder is like the lagging mid laner who just like has the worst game sense and awareness. This Thresh is just angry and blames everyone for everything. Just can't stop typing in chat and blaming people. And of course, we'll then make a post on Reddit about how useless support is as a role. And how you can't carry support in solo queue. And then there's Gangplank, who's just <laughs> 0 and 7. <laughs> the top lane is just 0 and 7. Just chill in. Just chill in 0 and 7. Honestly, as far as, like, uh, this may sound really funny, but... Gangplank is my favourite teammate here. He's like, my absolute favourite teammate. Because he's not typing. 
Are they on this? They are on this. I don't actually have a smite though. So I can't even take it. I may as well go for the kill here. Because I can't take... I can't take dragon there without my smite. But I'm going to try and kill for the scale here. Pretty impossible though. Especially with that healing coming up now as well. Okay. Okay, Draven, mate. <laughs> Draven, that was... It was funny. It was funny earlier. Not anymore. Oh. Well, I think this might just be one of those games, guys. The Shivana played pretty well, though. This is this this. I think this has been like the battle of the junglers. This game, the Shivana did, did uh, really well. I definitely made a mistake dying to her early. I thought maybe we could do a bit more, but um, yeah. I don't really blame myself for this loss, but you know, it's uh, it's been a good game at least. All right, I think it's over now, though, right? Yeah. Oh, nice hooks. Is that it? Is that the Syndra? It's nice. The Syndra mechanics there were pretty, pretty big. Uh, I would admit that. That was pretty big Syndra mechanics. Um, that's a minion, Foxy. By the way, just in case you weren't aware, that is a minion. All right, good shit. Let's have a look and see what the damage was like this game. Uh, I can't help but feel like. You know what, okay, let's, let's do a little game, guys. Let's do a little game. Let's do a little game. Okay, we're going to predict the damage meters for this game, okay? I'm going to put my glasses, because this makes me look cool when, I'm, when I get the prediction completely right. Okay, we're going to put our glasses. We're going to make a prediction, okay? Right, so, enemy team highest damage is going to be Draven, Shivana, Darius, Lux. That's my guess. Uh, on our team, I'm going to guess... Ooh, this is actually really hard. Hmm... On our team, I think Gangplank is the lowest for sure. Gangplank is the lowest one. That's easy. But then I think I would probably say Syndra, I guess, would be after that. And then uh, I, I, I'm probably lower than Jinx. I think Jinx, like Jinx, for all her faults, still put out damage in some fights. I would say Jinx, me, Syndra, Gangplank. Syndra might be above me, though. All right, here we go. So, so that was Draven... Shivana, Darius, Lux, and uh, in like from top to bottom, and then Jinx, Syndra slash me, Gangplank. Here we go. Well, okay, I was pretty wrong on it. Well, I was a little bit wrong. We're not intensely wrong. So I actually had the highest damage on my team. Okay, that's surprising. I wasn't really expecting that. I know I had a good score, but I thought that was just because I wasn't playing, like, retarded. I thought that was just because I was playing smart. Not necessarily jumping in and doing loads of damage, right? Syndra doing more damage than, than Jinx is funny, though. Then again, she only has to press one button and do loads of damage. But that kind of sums up this Jinx's positioning. She could never do any damage because she's always facing an enemy team. And uh, Shivana having even more than Draven. That does surprise me a little bit. Because, like, yes, Shivana played better than Draven, in my opinion. Um, but... Draven got like loads of kills later into the game, and usually that's when you start like, you know, like he he just like he got a pentakill for goodness sake, like he he. Do you know what I mean? I, I figured that would kind of boost him over the edge because he just like stacked up loads of damage in the team fights. When at that point, Shiran is mostly just a uh, a tank. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can still see Hecarim his strengths and you know how you can carry with him because he's he's a good champion. You can see with like from this game, he, he's he's a good champion. Uh, if I, yeah, I failed in the early game, dying to Shivana, but outside of that, I think we did pretty well. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. Have a wonderful day, night, evening, morning, whatever it is where you are from, and I will see you in my next.